So every single year, me and my wife try and go abroad. Sometimes two times, sometimes three times, sometimes more. It all depends on how shit's going. But every year we try and we try and do a relaxing holiday. We do a lot of traveling. We like to go places where there's lots to explore, places to hike, sightseeing. You know, not just touristy shit. But every now and again, you just need a break. And for my birthday this year, we just got back yesterday from Cape Verde. Cape Verde is a group of islands off to the, the side of Africa. And we went to one called Boa Vista. Now the island itself, fucking shit out. Not their fault, there's just nothing there, it's a poor place. It's just fucking land, land, land. It's fucking desolate land, as far as you can see. With some fucking, the odd mountain here and there made of, well, mountain. And then dotted around, you've got some resorts. This is, this is where the money is. And we stayed in one of them resorts. We, I picked, regrettingly, like one of the most expensive they had, but it was fucking beautiful. And we actually relaxed for the week. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting away from the point. The point is this jar. Now every holiday we've ever been on, that has a nice sandy beach. Or just, you know, somewhere I can get some sand. Not like a builder's merchant. Goes in this jar. And if you have a look at the jar, you can see some of the places we've been to. We've got Tenerife, Menorca, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, Mexico, New York, Canada. And obviously, you can see me here filling it up and putting in the sand from Cape Verde. Now, the only one of them I didn't get myself was New York. I, I couldn't find any sand in New York. And we just gave up looking. We was like, why would there be sand in New York? And when I got back and people were like, show us the sand jar update. I want to see the sand from New York. We did have none. And then people come in. There's loads of places you can get sand from in New York. And one of them said to me, yeah, I'll send you some. His name was Brian. He's a plumber. Great guy. I spoke to him a few times after that. And he just sent me the sand. So technically I didn't get that from, you know, by myself, but someone from New York sent me it from New York. Now you could tell it was some type of beach sand because of the little pebbles and the shells in it. But yeah, that fucking helped that did. Uh, we didn't get none from Amsterdam, but there was definitely nowhere I saw it in, in Amsterdam, like the, the main centre that I could have got any. There's been a few other trips here and there, but they're not too important. These have been our, our main holidays and well, I reckon, I reckon I've got two more trips left in that jar and it'll be full to the brim. Now, it was only recently that I learned that in some places you can't take the sand. I just thought it's fucking sand. Who, who cares? It's sand. But no, you, you can't just take the sand, funny enough. Obviously, it took me fucking all these years to find this out. And I've done some Googling on some of the places I've been and it's okay. And, and some frowned upon. And you know, I can, I can plead ignorance. I didn't know at the time. So what do I do for the next two trips? And I thought, oh, I know, I know, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. And it's going to cost more. It's actually going to cost a lot more because obviously I have to pay for the sand before. But in a lot of these gift shops, I think I've seen them nearly everywhere I go, they do these little jars of sand. They're like little tiny jars of sand and there's like little writing on that might say like Cape Verde. I was going to fucking buy a lot of them because now I know I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, that's how my, my, my mind will work that way. It's like, no! You know now. It was alright, you didn't know. But now you know. You know. So anyway, we'll find a way still. We'll still fucking get it. We'll still fill it up. But, uh, legitimately. Yeah, I'm getting older now. 34. Just went to 34 last week. So, uh, starting to give a shit about <laughs> what you can and can't do. Fucking you change, don't you? I guess you, you fucking change. But anyway, that's my sand jar. My voice is cracking because I've been shouting. I've been filming a couple of videos. But thank you very much for coming over to my page. Thank you very much for following, subscribing, all the shit you do. My new Facebook page, my other Facebook page, 105k, has kind of been blocked. I can still post on it, but no one sees it. It's Facebook have fucked me over. It's under investigation. But my new account I started up like two weeks ago is fucking on 8k already, so that's fucking good. I know 8k ain't like amazing, but like in the period of time I've done it in, that'd be in 10k within two days, no doubt. YouTube's picking up, the fucking shorts are going great. Twitter I just started on a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I don't really know what to do on it. We're working out, we're working out. And before you know it, the Kian Army is gonna take over this internet shit. <laughs> but thank you very much, make sure to hit that fucking like button and Kian